After the family's press conference today, I decided not to because their voices needed to be the loudest today. But after tonight's video, I could not end the day without saying something in addition to the statement I already sent out earlier today. First, let me say to the Ellis family again, and I cannot say it enough. I am so very sorry. And I know that those words may not mean a lot right now, but I hope that in addition to those words, I want you to know that I'm going to use every action I have as the mayor of this city to do more than just talk. Today, the family said to us, they were tired of talking and wanted action. They also asked, why does it always take a video for the public to believe when a black person's life is taken unjustly? As an African-American woman, I didn't need a video to believe. Yesterday, I committed to action. Tonight, I am stepping up again to show that commitment. As I watched that video, I became even more enraged and angered and disappointed. I don't get to take this skin color off every day. I don't get to come out a different person. And while I am mayor, I am still black. I am still treated as an African-American woman. I am still looked at as an African-American woman and my life could be taken. And today it stops in Tacoma. In this moment, at this time, based on the information I know today, the officer's actions we saw on this video tonight only confirm that Manuel Ellis's death was a homicide. And today, I am asking, no, I am telling you that I am going to call for several things. And the officers who committed this crime should be fired and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I am demanding tonight that the Pierce County Sheriff review and confirm every action taken by each officer. I demand that the Sheriff provide details of the actions of each officer on the scene. And I am then directing the city manager to fire each officer involved. As the family mentioned to us this morning, it does, it does take a video for so many people to believe the truth about systemic racism and its violent impact on black lives, on my life. But in order to ensure that every family, that every single family get the justice that they deserve, I am also directing the city manager to move forward with allocating funding for body cams immediately. We have waited way too long and we have heard way too many excuses. It stops tonight and we move forward. I can continue to speak. But it's not about me speaking, it's about me taking action. And the people whose voices we need to be holding space for are the voices of the family of George Floyd, the family of Breonna Taylor, the family of Ahmaud Aubrey, and the countless numbers of family who have been, who have been affected We need to hold space in the media and in this city and in this country for discussions, not just discussions on racism, but how we're going to dismantle the systems that continue to make it okay. 
We live in a nation where too many black lives have been lost, and I don't want to see another one. To the family, I say again, my heartfelt apologies. To my community, I call on my community, the citizens of Tacoma, to stand with us, to stand by us, and to continue to hold us accountable to take the actions that you elected us to take. We are in uncharted waters. What we are seeing happen across this country is different than any other time we have seen before. As the former president and CEO of the Urban League, I have held too many marches and too many rallies and too many conversations. And those conversations have been wrapped around how do we heal, how do we move forward? We will not heal and we will not move forward until there is real change. Let me be clear to everyone who is scared. Uncertainty is scary. Making changes is difficult. But black people have been making changes all of our lives. If you feel uncertain and afraid right now, I invite you to, to embody that, to take that in. Because while we may not know what lies ahead of us, in this moment, in this fear, and in this uncertainty as a nation and as a city, this is where we find our power to change the history of Tacoma, the history that will be written about Tacoma, and we will change this nation's history. Again, to my community, to my community of African Americans, to my entire Tacoma community, to the Ellis family and to every other family who has been affected by this racism and by police brutality, I say this to you. I'm going to stand with you I'm going to stand by you, in front of you, and wherever I need to be, and we will get through this. We will make change, and we will make this city and this country a better place for our children and our children's children. Thank you very much.